In this video, I will show you how to swap out your RAM and your hard drive in your computer. Your RAM, or random access memory, is a chip which stores all your short-term information. As soon as the computer is shut down, it is wiped clean automatically. It cannot work without any power. Your hard drive, in the, on the other hand, will store long-term information. As soon as you click save when you're working on a document, it is automatically saved onto the hard drive. So, the best way to speed up your system is to buy more RAM with a higher storage amount. The more recent upgrades are DDR2 and DDR3. You must get a kind that fits your system. Modern standards are somewhere around 2 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, or 8 gigabytes. So, two sticks is better than one. It will allow you much more ability to uh, open multiple uh, documents and programs at once since you have more memory to hold current things that are open. Your hard drive is uh, very important as well. If you need to store lots of photos, videos, or any other kind of large files, you're going to need a large hard drive. So I'm going to show you just how to do that. To check your system's RAM, go to the Start menu, click on Control Panel, Performance and Maintenance, and then click System. And right here you will see that there is 428 megabytes of RAM on this system. To check your system's hard drive, go to My Computer, and simply click on the drive and it will show in the sidebar how much total spa storage space you have. You can also go to properties and see a nice pie chart of how much used space you have and how much free space you have left and then the total capacity down to the exact byte. When upgrading your RAM and uh, swapping hard drives or any other internal components in your computer, always make sure that you're grounded with either a wrist strap or some other device and that your computer is unplugged. You do not want to get shocked. So, it can be easy or difficult depending on what kind of setup your computer is. This one's actually fairly well designed for an old computer, but most of them, there's screws on the back or something to get it open. So this is the inside of your, your computer. It looks like a mess of jumbled wires and whatever else, but it's actually um, quite organized, except for maybe those cords. <laughs> the hard drive is over here. I've already had this open, so this is floating around. There's the hard drive. It just connects with this. I'm going to show you how to swap the RAM. So you'll have at least two slots, but possibly three or more. Now, opening them up is fairly simple. You pop those off the sides, and the RAM will come right out like this. This is 64 megabytes. So let's upgrade to 128 megabytes of RAM. Make sure you have the the grooves lined up with the ones on here, so I got it backwards. Now just slide it in. And you're going to click firmly on both sides. Don't be afraid to be a little firm, but don't push right through the board if it's not going in. So, I can put in as much slots as possible, but the fastest way for your computer to run is if you have two of the same kind. Or just one of the same kind. But two sticks in general is better than one. So, those come in all different kinds. This is DDR2, the newer kind. 
And there's also DDR3 in laptops now. Uh, the Mac, the Macs are uh, starting to use them. So when swapping out your hard drives, just pull that out. Bring over your new hard drive. Grab this cord and put it in the same way that you took out the other one. You now have a new hard drive. That's how to swap out your RAM and your hard drive. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe.